Here we have a zero coupon bond and a zero coupon bond is exactly what it sounds like. It's a bond that has a coupon of zero. And so what does that mean for the timeline? Well, that means there are no coupon payments and a single lump sum payment of the par value at maturity. So how many years remain until maturity? 14. Now, um, in our calculations, we need to set a compounding period. And since we're talking about bonds, uh, we typically use semiannual compounding. And so we'll do that with the zero here as well. And so what does that mean? It means we have 28 semiannual ticks on the timeline. The only cash flow is the $1,000 repayment at time 28. And in order to find the price, we just need to find the present value of that $1,000 today. What discount rate are we gonna use? We're gonna use a yield to maturity. Um, but again, since we're using semi-annual compounding, we need to split that in half to get a semi-annual rate. And so we're gonna use 2.2%. So the PV is $1,000 divided by 1.022 raised to the what power? the 28th power. So you can enter that directly into your calculator and compute it, or you can use a financial calculator with a thousand as FV because that's the time in payment. N is 28 payment. Since it's a zero, payment is zero. And I is going to be this number here. FV is gonna be positive. PV is going to be negative. So let's enter it this way. $1,000 is FV. Zero is DMT. 28 is N. 2.2 is I. Compute PV. There is my answer. 